So, I am ready for the day, to a certain degree. Um, I've put some laundry in the washing machine. Now I'm gonna have some pasta that I made yesterday. It's literally just like cheesy pasta with some sausages. Um, just because I've wanted a little bit of meat in it. It doesn't actually look the most appetizing, but it does taste good. So I'm gonna have that for my lunch. Then I need to run to the post office. Go. I need to run to the post office to do some returns. And I need to buy a scalper because basically the other day I made some jollof rice and I've burnt the bottom of my pot and it's not washing with a normal sponge. So I need to get a scalper. But anyway, I'm going to eat this pasta and I'll talk to you guys after. I want to start off this video by saying this week has been very, very tough. Uni deadlines and exam week is not for the weak hearted at all but we've all been through it so this video is basically the week after my university deadlines the week after my university exams i honestly haven't even done lashes in about a month like i have honestly just been taking my time to just chill do just relax and do nothing focus on my exams and it's time for me to get past that now typically this weekend i would probably go on a night out or i'd go to the club or i'd just do something fun but i'm actually not feeling that this weekend this weekend i am actually fe feeling just to kind of just clean organize declutter this house it's a uni house okay guys and uni houses get messy my room is a pigsty the kitchen pigsty the bathroom i wouldn't say is that bad but today I'm basically gonna just clean the whole thing, make some yummy dinner. Now, a couple weeks ago, you guys would have actually seen I done like a cozy night in like with my flatmates and I really, really enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go and check it out. I just wanna have a refresh, get my environment into check. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. I've literally woken up and I'm in my pink bonnet. This little top's from Primark and the short are from Primark. <sighs> Look at this, guys look at my room this bedding has been on for literally about four weeks no joke i'm not there's no shame on this channel no shame this is coming straight off before i get a skin disease or skin rash from this bed two earbuds that water don't know that jelly's probably been here for about a week mcdonald's am i gonna eat that bacon and cheese sandwich absolutely not oh what do we have here what do we have here? <sighs> Domino's cookies that, have, that probably are expired. Like the floor needs a hoover. We've got some tissue just chilling on the floor. Like it's, it, it like, mm -mm. <sighs> not good. Not this good. is the bathroom. Personally, I don't think the bathroom is that bad. Do you know what I mean? But I think the bathroom's probably the best. I'm gonna go downstairs and do the okay, kitchen. I've just come downstairs, and this is what the kitchen is looking like. It doesn't look that bad because I think Bella hoovered the floor yesterday, which obviously love. Thank you so much, Bella. Um, but there are like some crumbs and just like a little bit of a mess, which is still on the side. Like, do you know what I mean? So, sink's not looking too bad. This sink has definitely seen worse days. But obviously, there's still some plates out and all that stuff. But I'm going to sort it out Ouch. right now. Ouch! I keep hitting my piercing and it's hurting me. But I'm going to clean just using this anti-back um, surface cleaner. I had another one, but I think it's basically empty. Yeah, it's literally empty. So, I'm literally going to chuck that away um and then sometimes we use this one which is the method 
cleaner. But today I'm gonna go in with another one. This one I just showed you by Astonish. And let's get cleaning. <laughs> everybody else is also stressed out and like i've got this spare time so i thought you know what i'll just wash up everyone's stuff leave it there to dry um and yeah it's it's so much better i have got some laundry to do so i've just left the dirty tea towels and cloths over there um but now i'm gonna move on to doing the bathroom just because i think that will be quicker and then i'll do my room last so, now i'm in the bathroom i'm gonna use the astonish bathroom cleaner i'm gonna give the bath a quick spray down in this household we've got three two three to three girls that use this bathroom <laughs> and a lot of us take baths in it like every sunday so having it just bleached oh god is this so spraying though yeah having this just like bleached down just helps a bit <laughs> back wipes to just wipe down the whole of the toilet i've cleaned the toilet i've just rinsed out the bath everything is looking so clean i'm just gonna refill this soap dispenser but how <laughs> Like half a century ago Cause you keep coming back after telling me you 
mask which a lot of you guys would have seen this is me to my hair while i've been cleaning my whole room um and it is very 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 tidy um the only thing is i feel like i ordered these makeup brushes but i haven't got a pot to put them in so i really want to order some new a new like brush um pot and i also want a new makeup mirror because this makeup mirror for some reason it is so wobbly that like i actually really struggle to do my makeup when i'm using it so it's a bit pointless do you get what i'm trying to say so yeah but i've hoovered the floor now let me show you guys this is basically the stuff that i want to take home so i want to take home these two suitcases my ugg boots because it's getting a bit warmer not warmer <laughs> but it is a little bit like to the point where i don't need uggs this is a part of dirty laundry which i doubt i'll be getting done today if i'm being honest with you the hoover i just need to take back downstairs um and then i think this stuff obviously the dominoes i'm thinking i can still put this cookie in the microwave okay no i'm joking <laughs> i'm joking they're definitely going in the bin they're definitely not um and then this i also want to take home my laptop isn't in here it's just like some rollers and like some spare shower caps and a speaker which i actually do not use but now my windowsill just looks a, a lot less cluttered. My dressing table, I think, looks much better. Like, I've disinfected it and everything like that. My tray with all my perfumes. I've just, like, dusted this down. This needed to be dusted for so long. And, yeah, I don't know. Like, recently, I've really been loving this Prada um, spray. But I also, also love, like, my classic Britney Spears. Does, it, does these have names? Britney Spears midnight fantasy yeah like my go-to i'm a very like floral um person like when it comes to spray like i like the sweet kind of smells um and also miss dior another one which i really really like this chanel one i wouldn't say is very floral it's called chanel chance it's not floral at all like this is probably <laughs> my least favorite perfume on this tray if i'm being honest with you and then this one is actually a men's perfume this is something versace but i'm not sure but it basically <laughs> is a men's perfume my uncle got me this by accident <laughs> he thought it was a female perfume but it's not and i'm also assuming that it could be for my brothers but they also got men's perfume, so I'm just assuming that he got me the got me the wrong one. But it's absolutely fine. I'm still grateful because I actually think that men's perfume lasts longer than female perfume. So I'm not yes, first. So the sun is so bright. I'm literally standing here just so that you can see me. But I've just got ready, slicked my hair, got in the shower. My hair is looking a lot healthier, which I'm really happy about. Um, I've just come to Selly Oak Retail Park because I want to buy some like pots for my room. You know how I told you I got those P. Louise brushes? I haven't got anywhere to put them. So I there is a Wilco here, which I'm praying has what I need. Or there's also a Sainsbury's and an Argos. So if they don't have it in Wilco, then I'm just going to have to go into the big Sainsbury's and then just get them there. There's also a Super Drug, which i'm also very excited about because then i can just have a sneak peek get some elf concealers um and also maybe a new foundation because a lot of you guys know i've been looking for my maybelline dream satin liquid foundation but i think they have discontinued my shade which i don't understand so i've been using the l'oreal 72 hour wear full coverage foundation it's got like a red lid that is really really nice but um you know when you're just stuck in your own ways about the foundation that you've been using like i've been using that foundation since i was 14 years old it hasn't broke me out or anything like so not and the l'oreal one hasn't either but i just like my foundation you know so i'm gonna go to superdrug gonna go to wilco pray for me that i can find this thing. Hey 
guys. I just went to Saint Superdrug and I got what I wanted. I'm now in Sainsbury's looking for a makeup mirror and hopefully they have it. Can you see the sun? Birmingham. When I want the hot weather, they don't give it to me, so I don't understand. Okay, so basically, I have left. Um, I went to Wilco for the mirror. For some reason, this Selly Oak retail park, the Wilco never has anything in it. Like, I'm not even going to... I'm not trying to be rude, Wilco. Let me turn this way again. I'm not trying to be rude, Wilco. But this Wilco here, it has nothing in it ever. I remember when I was moving in to uni in the summer, I wanted to get some extra hangers. I went to that Wilco cleared out i don't know if it's the whole of university birmingham that is you know clearing out everything in there but they didn't even have a mirror they didn't even have a plant pot like the one that i wanted so anyway i went into the sainsbury's and same as the summer i had to get my stuff in sainsbury's it's like the sainsbury's is better stocked than the wilco so anyways um basically i got this pot in wilco which is two pound fifty but this is huge i feel like my brushes are gonna sit so high in this but it was only two pound fifty in super drug i just picked up some carmex lip balm because this was literally one pound fifty four which is really really cheap for carmex and then i also got two concealers because with elf if you see the concealer in your shade just buy two because when you need it it won't be there don't be wrong recently i've been using the Too faced born this way concealer which i love but i love the elf one just as much as that one and this is six pounds so um i got the shade deep olive and deep caramel which are my go-to shades in this concealer and then i also got i told you guys about my foundation story like about how maybelline is discontinued all of the dark shades which i don't understand like if a brand is just discontinuing dark shades it means they're not meant for you so i'm not using anything by maybelline anymore until they want to restock that foundation if i'm being honest um but i did get this foundation which is the milani conceal and perfect i also love this foundation this is really really good i first tried this out when i was in america um probably when when was the last time i went to america maybe three to four years ago and this foundation is super super full coverage it's very lightweight which i like um and yeah i really like this shade this is a different packaging than the one i have because i have one of these which is an empty bottle i keep my foundation bottles because i need to remember the shade that i got it in um so i got this which i thought would be really really nice it's in the shade 13 chestnut um and yeah i think it's a good match i think this is the same color that i have at home anyways but the only difference is the packaging was more black like this is literally just clear and then a black lid but i do love this foundation it's medium to full coverage long wear formula waterproof and sweat proof and the milani setting sprays are also really really good if you want to try them out my spot cream has started flaking that's fine I don't really care um and then in sainsbury's i just got a mirror which is exactly what i needed just a little mirror that i can do my makeup in on my dressing table which is not broken this is 20 pounds and then these were on offer so i was like why not one pound 50 for a five pack which is really really good anyway ugh, i'm gonna drive home there is a mackie's there I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to do it today because I've said to myself, I'm going to eat healthy to a certain degree. And my normal self would have, would have got this Mackey's. But my new self is saying nope, nope, okay. nope, nope. So I've just arranged all of my P. Louise brushes in my brush pot. I did add some rice at the bottom just because the pot is a little bit big, which I knew. Um... I'm now just going to go through my old brush pot 
and just kind of arrange the brushes that I want to take home because I don't need all of these brushes do you know what I mean especially now because I want to try these new ones it is currently me editing this video I hope you guys have all enjoyed watching if you have please make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below this video was just to encourage you guys to do what makes you feel happy what was going to make me happy this weekend was to clean my room sort it out just get it organized because it definitely was piling on top of me but if you know having fun for you is going to the gym making some food going shopping doing whatever you want you need to do that do you get what i'm trying to say so this is what this video was for i hope that all of you guys exams went really really well and other than that i'll see you guys all in my next video thanks so much for watching